Gary's played 38 minutes tonight. He was your workhorse. Is this what you wanted to see from him stepping up tonight with so many guys out of the lineup tonight? Yeah, he was awesome. He was big time. Um, you know, let's start with the fact, back-to-backs. You know, we've talked about this, um, and it's been a struggle for us lately, you know, since we've had this young group. And, you know, we get in 3 o'clock in the morning last night, and, you know, Bays played a lot of minutes last night, and tonight he goes minute for minute with Westbrook. You know, we matched his minutes so that he could guard uh, Russell. Thought he did a really good job with the game plan there. Uh, he played probably the last, you know, 15 minutes straight of the game. I didn't think his energy dipped at all. You know, he he was big time tonight. Gets to the line 13 times. I would imagine that's a career high. Uh, that was really impressive. Thanks. Barry Trammell with the Oklahoman. Yeah, uh, Mark, it's second year without Russell. Uh, are you guys game for him differently this year than you did last year? Uh, what, Russell Westbrook? Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I mean, first of all, I think it goes that we haven't talked about this this year. I just want to make sure like when, when our guys are shooting in our gym, you know, the fact that he's been in that gym, um, and shot our baskets, you know, he, he laid a lot of groundwork, um, in this organization that we appreciate and respect the hell out of. I'll just say that right off the bat. Um, you know, I think it goes without saying, but I just want to make sure that's on record. Um, the game plan last year, it's a little different, mainly because of who he's playing with, you know, so I think the game plan on him is, is the same. I mean, you got to limit his transition. You can't put him on the line. Uh, you got to gap him and, and try to take away his first step. Um, you know, tonight we put Baisley on him to try to get a little more length on him so that it was a little harder to finish, a little harder to shoot over. Um, but any differences are probably a byproduct of the differences between Harden and Beal more so than the differences in his game. Um, but I mean, he had 17 assists tonight on a night that I thought we did a good job on him. You know, he's a great player. Paris Lawson with OKCThunder.com. Yeah, Coach, it was a tough, kind of grueling stretch of games for you guys. You kind of mentioned it, five games and, and seven nights for you guys. What did you think of the way you guys were able to rally back? You were down 17 and, and cut it to one there um, in, that, in that first half. Yeah, and we got it to two in the fourth. You know, we were right on the doorstep of that one, and, and obviously it didn't go our way. Um, but, I, you know, like I said, you know, we had that tough back-to-back -back on the West Coast that I didn't think we handled great, obviously. We had the back-to-back -back Utah back home for the Golden State game, which obviously we didn't handle great. Um, and so tonight was tremendous progress for us. You know, like we, that was tough travel. We got in late. Um, and these guys, you know, were without Lou, obviously, and Roby. And these guys played, man. They really played tonight. I thought the competitiveness, second quarter on, uh, we really competed. It was a fun game to compete in. The guys were really into it. Obviously, you know, we would have liked to get that one. Um, and I'd like to get all these, but at the end of the day, like if we compete like that, we'll continue to improve at the rate we've been improving, but that's a main ingredient. Joe Masato with the Oklahoman. Mark, just to follow up on Darius, you, you're right in that it was a career high as far as free throw attempts. Well, what stood out the most about those and just sort of the way he stayed aggressive and got, got to the rim and drew those fouls? He's just been playing with great force lately. You know, he's, he's really becoming more decisive. You know, if you remember back to the beginning of the year, even some of those really good games he had, he was catching the ball and kind of thinking and dribbling before he went into his moves. And, and those plays have been smoothed out. You know, he's kind of playing against the closeout. He's playing in straight lines. And he's really starting to understand his own strength. You know, those dunks he's missed the last couple nights, you know, he missed three tonight. One was, you know, a no call. The other two were fouls. He missed a dunk last night. He missed another dunk last night, rebounded the ball, then punched it. You know, like he's really starting to understand how athletic and strong he is and gaining a lot of confidence in that. Uh, and we're just lighting the fuse on it. You know, we love to see it. He's going to make mistakes. He's not going to be perfect. But that aggressiveness and that force he's playing with is, is the type of player that we think he can be. And just one more from me. I think tonight was your 25th different starting lineup of the season. I know a lot of that is the product of um, guys being hurt or or missing for various reasons. But like, how much are I, I know you? I, I know you got to put uh, some group out there. But how much are you learning from different pairings, or like, um, I, I guess how much of the situation has has taught you some things about what works and you know what what guys play well together. Totally, you know, and like tonight, 
you know, we have a small sample size of like Baisley and Poku playing together, you know, and, and as we project the team outward, you know, that's obviously something that we'd like to see. And so, like I've said all along, the exploration allows us to learn about the players, learn about the combinations. And then the other thing is it does is it stress tests our, you know, our environment and our culture and it stress tests our system. You know, if, if we can change a bunch of things and throw different lineups out there, um, and, and remain organized and remain intact and have a visible identity, um, then that's a reflection of our environment and it's a reflection of a system that you can move things around. And that's really, we're trying to build something that's pliable and flexible, you know, as we build the team out, you know, we want Sam and his guys to be able to go and, and find anybody at any position from anywhere, uh, so that, you know, they can fit into what we're doing and that's what we're building right now.